In this video, we're going to remove the clutch exhaust carbon governor off the 212cc power faced uh, Princess Auto engine. To start off, we're going to remove the intake and the air filter, move on to the gas tank, and then the muffler. I should preface this by saying obviously this all voids the warranty and uh, I'm not responsible if you fuck up your engine. When replacing the carburetor, it's necessary to remove the governor, mostly because it's plastic parts and it'll fly apart within the engine, but it'll cause a ca catastrophic error, right? And it's hooked up to a throttle arm that'll cause you, it'll cause it to backfire and rev up and down when you're trying to use it for something like a go-kart. So that's the throttle arm there. And then all the linkage connected to the carburetor None of that is necessary, you can check it out the fucking window. And then here I'm removing the final intake that's attached to the carburetor. The carburetor and intake are all hooked onto these big two screws. I just used a vice grip and was able to remove them as they don't have bolts. When attaching the new muffler, carburetor, and even the head gasket, it's necessary that you finger tight all the bolts, and then right at the end, you can all tighten them at the same time, that way you get an even, even spread and seal. Right here I'm showing the bolt, or, or the gear sorry, that is the governor gear. You need to get that tiny little hog ring out of there. Originally I was using two screws to try and pry it apart, but I sat there for 30 minutes trying to do it, and so I just used force. Obviously you don't want to use force necessarily, but in this case it worked out for my best interest, and I was able to remove all the parts. All the parts that are in there is the white gear, there's a little white knob washer on top of it. Under that, there's a black washer. And for the hockey stick looking thing that's the, attached to the throttle arm, there's another washer under that that'll often get stuck in the grease. It's necessary to remove it all. I think that's an obvious statement, but it's necessary you remove it all if you don't want your engine to blow up the second you start it. Here, I'm just cutting off the last bit of the throttle arm. There's no other way to get it out. A uh, Dremel would probably be safer, but I didn't have one hanging around. And then you're gonna wanna thread the hole that the previous throttle arm went through so that you can use some Loctite and tighten that up so it's got a seal and you keep your pressure, out, pressure in your engine. Once again here, making sure to tighten all the bolts by 
hand and then tighten them evenly swapping nine degrees from bolt to bolt to make sure you get an even seal. That's all. In the end, this only cost about $360 overall, but you have to make sure not to rev too high, just in the sense that you've removed the governor now and it's more likely to blow a rod or a piston. Thanks so much for watching.